Hello, it is Derek TCG back again with another opening. This time we are opening up Halo Mega Bloks Series 8. So this is one of the newer ones. Um, as you can see, you can see some of like the little Forerunner guys in the background there. So it is after Halo 4, uh, whereas the previous ones that I've been opening have been the older series. Uh, these ones are some of the newer ones. So uh, I believe I have seven of them right here that we can get into, see if we can get anything cool or interesting. Um, I know I loved these when I was younger, so I'm hoping that I'm gonna like the newer ones too. So let's see if I can break into these somehow. I'm not sure it didn't it didn't show any opening area for them. So let's see what I can do. Come on. Come on. It's fighting back. Lovely. Oh, there we go. I got it open. Okay, so here is the little guide as to how to put the things together and uh, with all the rarities on it. So we can see that we have um, Spartan, Green Spartan, Orange Spartan, Purple Spartan, Elite Forerunner guy, um, or Promethean guy, I guess that would be. Uh, those are all the commons. And then there is a rare uh, fly guy, uh, UNSC uh, trooper, and then a rare UNSC Spartan soldier. So that is the ultra rare guy. So hopefully we can find something uh, either yellow or red. I'm hoping that I don't get a million green ones like last time. <laughs> All right, so let's rip it open. What is our first guy? All right, so it looks like our first one is the orange. Let's look at that chest piece. It looks like the um, paint on them actually isn't too bad. Uh, like, you know, it can be spotty in some areas, but it's definitely not too terrible for what you're getting. Uh, let's see if I can just put the head on real quick. Um, I will show them all individually put together once I have them you know put together properly come on focus focus yeah so could be worse so this is a common one um, it's a very first one it comes with a little grenade launcher so that's interesting if you collect many of the uh, oops let's see if it'll focus come on oh, so annoying with the focus yeah so it's a little grenade launcher that it comes with it's the orange one which is a common uh, let's get right into the next one hopefully it'll be something even better so yeah, I'm gonna have to open them all with my teeth, but could be worse. Oh, sweet. So now we have a rare one. This one is the yellow guy. So let's take a look at the headpiece real quick. So it's more gold than yellow, but it's very nice. Look at that. So there we go. So I'll show you guys them all, uh, like I said, once they are uh, all put together at the end. So we got a common and another uncommon. So. I can't tell if this is a grenade launcher still, or if this is like a, what is it, like a, a special Forerunner scattershot gun. Yeah. It's nice that they do come with a weapon, though. Um, it's always kind of annoying when you get, like, the minifigures or any kind of figure series, and it doesn't come with enough weapons, so you can, like, set them up properly. So, three out of seven. Not doing too bad. We got a common and a rare. Oh, look at this, guys. We actually managed to get the ultra rare. So, there we go. So, definitely I'll have to set him up. There is our ultra rare guy. This one is the UNSC Spartan Soldier. Very nice. I really like the um, the detailing on him, too. Like, if you look, you can actually see, like, he has the tactical pack for the magazines. His chest has popped out a lot more for the armor. He has a little jet jump things on the back. You can actually set it up with, like, uh, some of the other accessories. That's why they have the hole in the back, because some of them will have, like, the jet packs and all of those types of things. I don't know why it's not focusing, but, yeah. Very nice. So we got uh, a common, an uncommon, or a common, a rare, and then the ultra rare one that we needed to get. So that was the only ultra rare one in the series. So at least we're coming out of this with uh, something. <laughs> All right, next one. Oh, we got a green. So this one is another one of the commons, but we haven't actually gotten this guy yet. So it is nice to see. This one is the another UNSC Spartan soldier but it is the green version. I'm not a huge fan of the artwork on this one. Like, it, the modeling is well, but it's just the paint. Like, because it, it's just all just a standard green. But, I mean, it's not too bad. Like, you can see a little bit of dark, like, texturing on it, but could be worse, could be better. Uh, this one comes with another one of the... Uh, this one is definitely that, like, the Forerunner kind of shotgun. 
Yeah, the other one, the ultra rare guy, came with a little beam rifle. Oh, jeez, I'm dropping it. Little beam rifle. So, there you go, that's what came in the ultra rare one. Uh, next pack. Get rid of that. Empty it out. Come on. All the goodies are out of there, I think. Oh, and look at that. Jeez, we're getting super lucky. We're getting every single one of them. All right, this one looks just like Master Chief, even. I like that uh, Mark IV armor, I think that is. It's either Mark IV or Mark V. I think it's Mark V. Shit. So, look at that. Purple Chief. And he is another one of the commons. Uh, it comes with another of the Forerunner shotguns. I think they all just come with uh, that style of gun because this is when the Halo 4 and 5 was getting really popular. And you know, um, 343, they like their money. So, uh, come on. Uh, there we go. And I'm hoping this will be either the Fly Guy, the Dog, or the Elite. Oh my goodness. What is that luck? It is the Fly Guy. So, I might actually just be able to put this one together really quick. Um, let's see, so, where does this go? Does that go on it? Or behind? Oh, it goes behind it, so it has, it looks like it has little tiny legs, and it has the wings on the side. This is a super interesting minifigure, I've never seen anyone like this. So this just goes on, just like that. Oh, that is sweet. So then you have the little legs that pop out, works like that, and these are where it goes on to. Then it has this little jet thing, which I guess would slide into there. Then you can pop that into there. And then you can have it flying around or doing other minifigure things. Very cool. So, not bad at all. Like, uh, it, very, very nice model. I like how articulated it is. Uh, but it doesn't have a whole lot of color schemes to it. So it's okay for what it is. Uh, especially if you didn't pay too much for these, this one would definitely be a nice addition to your collection. So there we go. So now we just need the dog, um, the red guy, and I think that's it. <laughs> so, uh, we got one package left. So let's see what we're actually going to get for our final pack. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Let's see what's inside. Oh, oh, look at that. It is the elite. So that was extremely, extremely lucky, guys. Um, I ordered these offline, so I'm not actually sure if they tried to give us all of the different ones, but um, that is super, super lucky. So there is the lead character. Actually, super well done, too. I love the uh, modeling on this. Oop, let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, I love the modeling on this. The face isn't super detailed, as you can see, but if it's further away, that is a lovely model. It's also extremely glossy, too. The legs look really good on this figure, too, so I'll definitely have to show you guys a detailed one of this. Um, it comes with the same rifle as the ultra rare one came with. Um, just a Covenant sniper rifle, I guess that would be. So if you... Alright, so there we go. So we managed to get pretty much all of them. I think the only one that we didn't get was the Forerunner Dog. But there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages. And we only opened seven today. So, or like there's eight different kinds. And I only had seven packages. So I think that is pretty good luck. I think it's fair to say that if I had one more, they probably would have given me the dog, which is a shame because I really like the look of that one too. But we managed to get every single one of them, which is awesome, aside from the dog. But um, I'll put these together and then you guys can take a look at them and see what you guys think of these Halo minifigure set from Series 8. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, let me know what you want to see down below. And uh, also, I hope you're enjoying. I got a brand new helmet too. I really like that. It's a Salette style. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, you can't say the N-word, that's racist!